Well, it's not often that as a press officer of Highgate Town, I get to welcome an ex-Dutch international, a legend for Chelsea, Southampton and Huddersfield to the ground. But I'm very privileged to be sitting with Ken Moncow today, who's going to explain now a bit about an initiative that he's helping to bring to the stadium. Ken? Oh, good evening. I've been asked a couple of months ago by the uh, Barrow Council to get involved because the whole uh, Tour de France uh, thing to bring a bit of flavour to her, the French flavour. So thinking about it for a couple of days and I thought why not to put in a match on to France versus Yorkshire 11 and uh, the locals sort of got quite excited when I mentioned a few names and uh, they thought oh, it would be possible to pull it off. I think yeah, if, if we've got the support of the locals I think we can pull it off and that's what, what happened. So the last couple of months we've been very busy trying to get uh, the boys together and we've got some decent names. The Yorkshire 11th, like I said, we've got players like Gary McAllister, Danny Mills, Peter Beagri, the list goes on, Mark Pride, all the Yorkshire guys that make an appearance and of course people ask, so what about the French French side? So we've got a few names as I've been pressed to mention. <laughs> we've got people like uh, Oli Bernard, ex-Newcastle, uh, left back. We've got uh, Bernard Lombard, ex-Chelsea centre-half in France. We've got Vincent Pericard, so there's a few names to throw in there that, um, that will make an appearance. But uh, it's exciting because it's a local team, I live here. Uh, we're based here, so and try to add a little bit to the to the whole French uh, soirée vivre. You know, we're looking forward to that. <laughs> now, I know that the list of names that you got, it's always changing. Yeah. But to be fair, you've got some very, very impressive names. I know you can't release them, but you must be excited about seeing them as well. I know, of course, because quite a few guys I've played with and against, and it's quite nice to bring them to our hometown. And of course, as I said, the whole tour de France. There are lots of people that played against teams like Leeds, Manchester, uh, York. But quite a few haven't actually set foot in Harrogate, so we want to help promote not only of course Yorkshire but Harrogate in particular because that's where we're based. Now, knowing some of the names that you do have, when they walk into also the CNG stadium, what do you think they're going to make of it? I think because I'm just thinking from an ex-player point of view, because that's where we all started. We all started at a smaller club, and there's something very charming about it. The going back and for the players, not only to, to actually play with the, their teammates that they hadn't seen for a long time, but actually going back. And we all will actually identify where we're actually originally from because that's where it all starts. When you look at today, I'm looking over your shoulder and I see the kids playing and kicking the ball on the, on the proper pitch. You know, you can't beat it. Yeah. So do you think that obviously the ones that are played like the New Camp and then the Stade de France, and they're going to come in, this will be the pinnacle of their career playing at the CNG Stadium? At, at the moment it will be, <laughs> since they stopped playing, <laughs> for sure. No, but this is what it's all about, where it all started, and you can't beat actually playing in a very tight environment, and it's like I said, it's not the, 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 the sort of, like I said, as you said, the Stade de France or New Camp, but it's actually a real, where real football starts. We we'll definitely have to get those changing rooms tidied out then. Oh. <laughs> As you said, you live in Harrogate. Have you been to many matches at uh, Not, Not at all. Since I've uh, met Gary, Gary invited me a couple of times to come and look. And because the last sort of three, four years I've been travelling quite a bit, spending my time down south abroad, so I haven't sort of had the time. But the next six months I definitely will come and see uh, sort of a couple of games. And I'm one of those guys, since I stopped playing, I've been trying to stay away as long as possible from the game because I'm one of those guys, once I get into it, that's it. I want to start training, get playing, you know? The hunger is still there. Oh, so we might even see you turning out? Well, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. What, if you could sort of like face a camera now and sell this game to the, you know, the Harrogate people, how would you do it? The way I would do it, probably football in itself speaks. But of course, when you have certain players that play on the highest level, and being in this country for 25 years now, I came here because I got excited because of the whole league, the attitude of the people towards football in particular. So to be involved to actually putting an event on like this here is ex exciting, not only for the guys that are playing it, but also for the locals, because we're bringing something that they normally can't touch in their midst. So that's how it's so something exciting. It's, 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 it's not unique, but in our eyes it's special. And even for the guys that play on the highest level, it's still special to come to a ground like this. And because it's for a good cause as well, don't forget that it's the Army Benefit Fund, because that's what we're doing it for. It's just a good cause, uh, all the guys are actually giving their time and effort you know, for that cause. And I suppose the most important question is, when's the date and what time to kick off? It's the 29th of April, the kick off is 7.30, be there or be square. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. that's great. Ken, thank you so much no for joining us. At all. Brilliant, thank you.